Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, welcome back to working on the race truck. So tonight on the race truck, basically we're going to finish some odds and ends that we have on our four link project. Um, just get that all buttoned up. The one thing we're not going to be able to do is mount our coilover stuff. Um, basically what is going to make up the rear suspension here. Our four link is just kind of locating the axles, the axle, that and the pan hard bar and our coilover shock which we'll eventually have is going to control how the suspension moves and you know support the rear of the vehicle we will be doing that with these fire punk brackets that came with our four link kit but we're not going to be putting these on right yet the top mount is just these two tabs which eventually we're going to have a cross member in there and with everything we got going on back here I don't want to try and line all that up and get it figured out and then when we get our coilovers say they're too big or what have you because what I would like to do is basically get the coilovers as close to the frame as possible. We really don't have the room on the outside here I don't feel to put them there but I want them as close to the wheel as we can get. So that being said without our coilovers it'd be a royal pain and we'd just kind of be hoping. Um, I did take measurements earlier and figure out where I, was good, I would put them, I think, but we're just gonna say no to that, and what we're gonna do is basically go to a solid suspension right now. Um, I have these two pieces of square stock that were originally for our fuel cell mount. I cut them down and kind of mocked them up, cleaned everything up, so what we're gonna do is weld them to the axle to the frame and then we can get the jacks out from underneath the cab and all that. So that's going to be our first little task. Um, that way the truck is basically supported. If we needed to roll it, at, roll it outside for something we could. Not that we're going to have to but just that way it's one less thing we got to worry about and when we finally decide on coilovers we can get that all installed fully. So moving on as you can see here we have some tubing. Um, some beautiful inch and five eighths dough call tubing. This is a different kind of tubing than we've been using. We've been using all chromoly. Um, with the prices of steel and whatnot, this stuff is really a viable option now. This is inch and five eighths 083 wall. It comes to our buddy Mike, uh, MD Diesel Fab on the Instagram. Um, he hooked us up with some tube to finish this project and probably a little bit extra. I just want to make sure we have enough. Um, because we will be trying to attack the cross brace that goes underneath the cab of the truck to finish out our 25-6 cert on this cage. So originally I was just going to say screw it, we'll get the cage certified for $850 um, for now and go on, you know, so on and so forth. But I've decided, I found a way I think we can make this a little easier on ourselves than what I was originally thinking. So. When we get to it, we'll talk more about that, but we're going to go for a full 25-6 certification on the truck. That way, if we get to that 850 mark or whatever, we can keep going. Um, I know that's going to be a stretch or, you know, that's going to take some time and dialing in to get there even. But we put all this work to make this cage a 25-6 cert. I want to finish it off, especially now that I've come up with a little easier way to do it. But that's not going to be tonight. Tonight, we're going to be focusing on strengthening up the front of our foreman. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically gusset this front bracket. We're going to run a tube up from our cross tube up to the frame. We're going to gusset that back. And then up top here, I made some gussets out of some plate. We'll get those all dialed in and just gusset that whole corner right there. I don't know if that tube really needs it, but a little extra won't hurt. Also, we're gonna then cut all our tubes to length, cap those off and just kind of call this part of the project done. Then our four length will be 100% complete. Other than I do wanna shave down the length of these bolts a little, especially that one over there on the pan hard bar. Um, I don't know if we'll get to that tonight, but that's another little thing that'll need done. But hopefully after tonight, all we have left is to do our rear suspension, you know, 100% complete. So anyway, guys, that's what we're going to do. We'll get to cutting some tube and all that and uh, get to installing this and uh, weld up these bars in the back.
So we got our new solid rear suspension, temporary rear suspension as installed. Uh, got it off the jacks in the front, so the truck is now supporting itself. Um, everything's good there. I actually had to jack it up a little to get underneath to get our weld on our first little gusset here. Um, I love the finish on this tow call. It just looks so much better um, than having to, you know, clean all the mill scale and whatnot off of the other stuff, our other chromoly. Um, but anyway, so I got the top capped off here. I decided to grind the welds flush. Just I think it looks for, you know, makes for a cleaner look. Um, also, I got our gusset in here. That turned out really good. Um, I had another gusset plate because I had made four of them um, just in case. Well, I decided to put that down here. Whether it's needed or not, probably not, but hey, a little extra rigidity won't hurt. And then we're all welded up top here. So this bar's in. I'm gonna wait to do our other little gusset bar here until we get the other side, the passenger side all done. That way I can look at it. We'll put the drive shaft up, um, just see how everything looks, and then we'll get to um, you know, making those gusset plates after the passenger side looks like the driver's side here. Um, it's definitely looking good. I'm, I'm digging how it looks, that's for sure. Uh, I think that's gonna be plenty of support. I tried to make it so it almost looked like this thing was going in where that uh, frame rail kind of dips down. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, so we'll keep pressing forward. We'll try and get the passenger side to look like this. Then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with our other little gusset. And then also with our tube, what I would like to do is basically move this bar. Um, this is just a big piece of uh, piece of pipe, really, is all it is. This isn't chromoly or anything special. So what I want to do is actually put a piece of chromoly here, or dough call it is. We'll put that even with our uh, four length brackets just to strengthen up that area and get rid of this heavy piece of pipe that we don't need. Um, also with this. Um, Cross member, I'm thinking about maybe doing a drive shaft hoop there. So if something ever happens to the rear um, U joint, it's not coming and smashing into our four link bars. Uh, I haven't figured out what that all looks like yet. Maybe we won't get that far tonight till I figure out exactly what I want to do. But eventually, this pipe's going. And we'll put, replace it with a piece of dough call. Um, same for that rear one. It was just what I had available at the time. Um, it's pretty, pretty heavy wall stuff. So anyway, we'll move on to the passenger side and just kind of keep doing what we're doing. Well, we got the passenger side looking just like the driver's side of the truck. We got our gusset coming up from our um, little four link connector bar. Um, we have our gusset in there. We have our cap on. Same thing up here. We have a cap on and our gusset in. Um, everything's looking good there. I also figured out what our tube is gonna be from here. So it's gonna pretty much go from up here to about here, about eight inches over. I think that'll give us a nice uh, nice gusset there, but still give us room to get the drive shaft in and out. But we're not gonna get that to that tonight. This just took quite a little bit of time. I'm just trying to make sure we get these tubes right, and I am very happy with how they turned out. If we look at it from the side, I think they look fantastic. Um, and definitely cutting our tubes down here and capping them definitely gives it a much cleaner look than having that piece of tube 
that was sticking out here. Um, luck, somehow I didn't hit my head on that or the other one, or I didn't impale myself on them, and they both had sharp angles on them. So that was a, a very positive thing for the evening. So guys, just some more welding and grinding here in the garage. Um, this is all stuff we knew we had to do. Um, some stuff we got to finish in the back there when we get some other parts. But I wanted to get this wrapped up um, as much as possible. We'll get those other two tubes in and some other stuff like our drive shaft tube and stuff like that um, here coming up because uh, we got another big project to do to the truck yet. Um, doing the four link, that was a big project that we had, you know, kind of, I kind of thought about, hemmed and hauled, and it was something that I really wasn't going to do. Then we went out to PRI and so now we're now we've done it um or just about done it but we have another big project that once again i kind of drug my feet a little too much and waited to order um i should have ordered it much sooner because it was one of them things that takes about six to eight weeks to get but needless to say those parts should be here i think some of them should be here tomorrow and the others will probably at this point be early next week but it's going to be a major undertaking um it's going to completely transform the truck how it looks uh the old race truck will never look like she did again so i know that's a good hint most of you guys can probably figure out what we're going to do but that's going to be a whole thing of just like the four link I don't know exactly how it's gonna go. Um, we have a lot to figure out. We got people um, who we've been talking to about different ideas about how to do it, so on and so forth. Um, but we're gonna try and do it in a way that makes the most sense. We'll try and tackle the, probably the hardest part of it first. And then it, as the truck's getting ready, some of the other stuff can wait till later if we need to do. Um, so anyway guys that's kind of enough rambling for tonight we got some more welding and grinding and work done on the truck the four links looking good on um, that doe call tubing thanks for the hookup mike uh md diesel fab on the instagram and as i've told you guys before if you are anywhere local to cecil county drag strip hit him up if you need a roll bar 850 cage whatever the guy does phenomenal work um, his welds are amazing looking and everything he does truly just there's a lot of thought behind it there's no oh we're gonna stick this here and all that but he i've seen his work and i wouldn't be telling you this if i didn't believe it like i said before if i hadn't built this cage myself like or if i was going to build another cage like this in the future i'd probably just have him do it um his work just speaks for himself like i said check him out on the instagram mike thanks a lot for the two appreciate it so anyway guys that's enough for tonight Get out in your garage, get the wrenching on your truck, 